Hey, what's up guys? So today we're gonna be taking a look at this brand new 3D printer I got. It's a Anycube Cobra 2 Neo. Um, I picked it up on Amazon. It was on sale from 250 some dollars to about 150 bucks after taxes and everything. It was like 170 bucks. And I picked it up because I needed another 3D printer to print stuff for my Etsy store that I started up a couple months ago. Um, so we're gonna be taking a look at this thing. Currently for my Etsy store, I run two Ender printers. One is upgraded with BL Touch, upgraded um, motherboard. It has a clipper on it so I can print wirelessly through it. Um, so that's been a pretty good printer. And then I have a regular stock Ender 3 that I print for the store. But I saw this thing on Amazon and I thought that it would be a, a little bit better option compared to the Enders and it was about the same price point because this comes with the auto bed leveling on it already and it's about the same build volume. So let's let's get right into this thing. Alright, so the Anycube Cobra has the same build plate volume as an Ender printer. So it's basically the same thing, but it's a little bit faster. It's advertised at 250 millimeters a second, but I mean, I have it tuned in at like 80 millimeters a second and it works, it works pretty good. Um, set up out of the box was very easy. I just followed the directions and it took me literally about 30 minutes until I was on my first print. Um, it comes with a little SD card. It comes with all the tools that you'll need to put it together and maintain it. I mean, you might want like a scraper and maybe like a, uh, um like uh flush snips so you can clean up your prints but i mean other than that the printer comes with everything that you need um it comes with the filament holder on the side and it comes preloaded with some test prints so come check out the uh the screen here so this display has pretty much everything you need it has a preheat function over here it displays all the information about the printer you have your SD card so you could pull up and pick what you want to print. If you go into uh, settings, you can see all the different controls. You have auto level here. I'll show you guys that in a second. You have the calibration, more settings. You can turn the fan on if you wanted to. You have basically everything you need for the printer. It's a pretty basic printer, but It'll definitely get the job done. So let's show you guys what that auto bed leveling does. Auto level. You'll see it'll home the axis and then it's going to heat up and it actually has a thing on the back where it'll wipe the nozzle off after it extrudes some out of the nozzle. So you guys will, you guys will see that. We'll start up a time lapse of the whole, the whole process for you guys. Now that we've leveled the bed, um, the Anycube has belt tensioners right here. So we'll just tighten that, make sure my belt is nice and tight. And then it has a tensioner over here. So I'll tighten that, make sure this belt is nice and tight. I've got some glue filament loaded up in there. There's not too much left in the roll there, but should be enough to print one of the tests. So the SD card that it comes with, it comes with a little eight gigabyte SD card, which is kind of nice. You don't, you really don't need anything for this printer to get started. And it comes with a couple test files loaded up. So we'll load up one of the test benchies that it comes with on here. Um, I'll show you guys the preheat function. So it preheats for PLA, it preheats the bed to 60 and it preheats the nozzle to 190. So it's pretty nice. We'll put the preheat on there. And then we'll start up one of the benches. So we'll start up the, the, it comes with this. It'll be in 0.25 quality and it'll take about 30 minutes to print. So we'll start this up and we'll hit a time lapse for you guys. Benchy just finished up printing on the printer. 
um, for a 30 minute benchy print printing at honestly I don't know what speed it prints at on the the factory as the because it's a file that came with the printer I don't know how fast to print it but to print a benchy like this in 30 minutes you get a little bit of kind of like stringage there it's really not that bad and you have the overhang there the holes look pretty good the roof on the benchy looks good the steering wheel looks good even the writing on the back of it looks halfway decent um i think it's it's a pretty good printer for the 160 bucks i i spent on it um let's hop over here and show you guys the cura settings for it i will drop the start g code and ng code in the description box below in case you guys want to use my my g code and my cura settings for this all i did was i used custom printer here come in and so you could see on here i used a custom printer i just put in the build plate dimensions it's 222 by 222 by 250 and then just copy and paste my start and end g code in here and then it's it's a marlin flavor because the screen it's it runs a marlin computer on the printer but i mean that's pretty much all you have to do for the cura settings and then you will be able to drop whatever STLs you want in the Cura, and then you just load the Cura file onto the SD card right here. Stick it in the printer, like so. Press that, and then you can access all your files that you've made and print whatever you want with this printer. So it's a pretty good printer for, for what it's worth. All right, guys, so I think that's about it for the Anycube Cobra 2 Neo. Um, it's a very good printer. I think it's going to be a good addition to my, my Etsy store. It's a, quite a bit faster than my Enders I have over there. I actually printed an order on it earlier, and if I would have printed it on my Ender, it would have taken about 50 minutes longer than it did on this printer. So I'm definitely happy to to have it in my collection um definitely let me know if you guys want to see any other videos on this printer but i think that's gonna be it for today's video make sure you guys hit me up in the comments if you have any questions about the printer or let me know if you guys have any suggestions for videos to do in the future but that's gonna be it for today we'll see you guys in the next one